the need to post Julio Kede of the Nigerian Police Force to their state and local government to enhance community policing in Nigeria. The colonial master came to Nigeria and met the people without Western education, but well-established monarchy that governed the citizen internally with their security operation that cater and safeguard lives and properties within the various ethnic groups in Nigeria. Further note that the colonial master on the advent of their administration recognized the importance of native authority as he quickly recognized community policing under the native local authority, police with direct control, supervision and management of the paramount rulers, traditional rulers, chiefs, who were sole administrators of their respective domain in various provinces. I appreciate the fact that the police system under the colonial rule worked as it was complemented by the effective prison service, law courts that were thoroughly supervised and at times manned by the colonial master. Concern that government inconsistency in policy implementation has affected the Nigerian policies, welfare and well-being, and by necessary impl implication, their impact, which also adversely affected the citizens in the society in terms of service delivery. We are asked, it is the general that the lower rank of the Nigerian police constable to the rank of inspector be posted to their respective state of origin to improve and impact positively on community policing through sanitizing with vigilante groups, traditional rulers, so as to address the current state of insecurity in the country. Aware that there has been calls for creation of state police in order to provide a lasting solution to the perennial security challenges due to the ineffectiveness <laughs> or outright bias of Nigerian police force in carrying out their national assignment. Further concern that the disconnect between the Nigerian police and the various communities with their different cultural values and orientation created in vacuum that needed to be filled through community policing in order to avail the federal police the opportunity to concentrate on its primary duties of the detention. Contemporary Nigeria has shown that the time has come when we must find every means to enhance community policing. And so I want to applaud the observations of Senator Adeleke. I also want to applaud the efforts that went into this motion. I have only two brief comments. Comment number one, it seems as if we have come full circle. Those of us who are old enough will remember that during the constitutional crisis of the late 60s, events in our, motion, in our nation got to a point where there was a suggestion that all policemen and all members of the armed forces should go to their region of origin. It is sad extremely sad and tragic. Kirby North and Kirby Central, Cas Casino South, will you please allow me to speak? We, oui. thank you. Even when yes, you are speaking, you are with me. Yes, while I'm still speaking, I remain the chief whip. Yes. The events of the 60s yeah. tragically seem to have been repeating themselves to a point where 50 years later, 
we are prescribing the same remedy again. We have run the affairs of our republic to a crisis point in which we say, if you don't speak the local language, you are not likely to understand the local affairs. Police or the, the Nigerian police um, to, in, to have this community policing in place. But you see, the problem here is that other places where you have community policing, they have a different police architecture. So if you have a federal system of police, and then in which case you have the central policing, then it means therefore that the business of the community policing is the business of the sub-national police, as it is in most federal agencies, most federal countries. So that is where it works. But if you have the type we have here, where you have a federal government with a unitary policing system, and you introduce community policing, it's going to be difficult to work. Because if you go to places like America, it is the sub-national police that introduced the um, community policing. The implication of community policing is that you have a policeman who is within that community, who lives with the community, knows everybody, and patrols his beat on a daily basis. So that works well in the place where you have a decentralized police. Because in Nigeria, for instance, how do you explain that you say, okay, you're sending everybody to his home? There are some communities in Nigeria that don't, don't have a policeman.